Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe. Welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this total body and core workout that I put together in my home just for you. These exercises will help increase your energy, flexibility, and endurance, while also improving bone density, cholesterol levels, and blood pressure. Each exercise has a prayerfully chosen scripture to help strengthen our spiritual foundation. You will only need a medium to light set of weights. Let's get started. Let's get started with the warm up. Start to move side to side, reaching your arms out there and breathing. And let's recite this scripture together. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. We can, can't we? So we're moving side to side, we're inhaling, we're exhaling. Let's tap and move that arm across the body. Remember to always warm up before you start your exercises. So this is some dynamic stretches. We're warming up the shoulders and the upper body. Go ahead and reach up and you're breathing and you're excited and the strength of the Lord is with you, right? I'm excited about this workout. It is going to be amazing for the lower body and the upper body and the core. Feel that rotation through the waist if you want to rotate a little bit further and keep breathing through this. Let's reach up again. Again, we want to warm up this body. Get the blood circulating, reaching, extending, and stretching. Maybe march in place a few times and breathe. Now we're going to go into some basic squats. So stand with your feet about shoulder distance apart. Place the hands on the hips and just lower down and lift back up. Lower back down and lift. Very nice. Now you can modify your squat and go down just a little bit or you can go as deep as you want in your squat. Just remember that deep breathing from the diaphragm, so important here. Inhaling and exhaling. And I want you to remember the strength of the Lord is with you during this workout and the rest of the day and in the middle of the night and first thing when you wake up. Let's do that a few more times. Let's do that one more time. Good job. Go ahead and pick up one weight. What we're gonna do is a squat swing. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our legs back out. We're gonna swing the weight back bring it to the front, and then swing it out on the other side. Now, if that's too much for you, I just need you to swing it right here in the center, okay? Or you can simply hold it and hold right here on the ends of the weights. But I'm gonna go ahead and swing. Stand here and see this great thing the Lord is about to do. God is going to do a great thing in your life, a great work. And you've gotta trust Him and know that He's gonna do it and say it out loud, God, you're gonna do a great thing in my life. You're gonna show me things I've never seen before. You're gonna help me with things I've never done before. Remember to keep breathing, inhaling, exhaling. You should feel your heart rate going up just a little bit. One more. Now we're gonna take both weights in our hands and we're gonna go into a split lunge. I'm gonna show you the modification. Take one leg out Lunge just a little bit, cross over, and then step back. Let's do that again. Inhale right there. Exhale, single arm row. Now here's a progression. Step out, lower down as far as you want to go, and then bring it right back, okay? So you choose which one you want to go into, and be strong. Be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. That's out of 2 Timothy. Again, repeat that scripture. Be strong and breathe and inhale and exhale. Modification right here. I feel that heart rate increasing as you move. It's amazing how strength training exercises as you move them will increase that heart rate. Let's do that one more time and then back in position, nice. Okay, opposite leg, let's modify. Bring it out in front, cross the arm over, and bring it back. Let's do it again. Inhaling, 
exhaling one more time, modify right there. All right, now let's go ahead and progress all the way down and then back. You notice that balance challenge right there? Overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. You can live a victorious life. I promise you that. Even though things may be going on in your life that you don't necessarily understand, you can still live in victory every single day. Lower and lift, going back to that modification, and then bring it back. Again, inhale, progression, exhale back one more time. Nice work. Bring the legs out wide. Hold the end of the weight. Bring the arms back. Start to lean side to side. Again, breathing, connect with your waist, pull in the ribs. God who began the good work within you, he's going to continue that work until it's finished. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep um, stepping forward every single day. God will show you if it needs to be changed. Believe me, he will change it for you as you allow him to. Let's keep leaning side to side. Working the waist, inhaling, exhaling. We're working the obliques right here. Those abdominal muscles that wrap around our center, they're real important muscles. So we wanna keep them strong. Shoulders down, keep those arms back a little bit. Think about your posture and your alignment with that belly scoop and that deep breathing. A few more times, nice. Go ahead and put one weight down. What we're gonna do is step out, we're gonna step out and swing, and then step out and swing. Let's do that again. Step out and swing, and step out and swing. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love Him. Step out and swing, or you can do a basic squat. We are going back to that lovely split lunge and dumbbell crossover. So go ahead, bring your leg back out. Remember, here's a modification, and then row that arm back. The progression, lower down a little bit more. Just hold it right there, and then bring it back. Be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. Be strong. Tell yourself that. Be strong. I have to tell myself that even when I don't feel strong. Teresa, be strong. Just say your name out loud. There's something about that. And I've told you before, sometimes I just look in the mirror and I say, Teresa, be strong. Christ is with you. He goes before you. He's got it all figured out for you. You just need to pay attention to him, right? Get your eyes off yourself. Place your eyes on him. Inhale, lower right there. Exhale, let's do it one more time. Lower down, these are hard to do, and back. Opposite leg, remember your modification here. Just reach across just a little bit and then step it on back. Let's do it again. Inhale right there and exhale. Progression, crossover lunge, hold, 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 and then bring it back. Overwhelming victory is yours. It's mine, it's ours through Christ Jesus who loves us. Victory! I know that sounds kind of corny, but seriously, victory is yours. You can live in victory as you go through your day, as you work out, and you're breathing, you're scooping your belly, you're checking your alignment and your posture. Remember your modification here. I need you to go at the level that's good for you. Don't pressure yourself. You do what's best for your body today, right? Don't go too hard and don't go too easy. Last one. This next one is for the abs. Go ahead and place one weight down. Hold one weight. We're gonna start to just rotate. Simply rotate side to side and breathe. Do you ever tell yourself to breathe? Breathe, take a deep inhale and exhale. And remember this, the joy of the Lord is your strength. As you're breathing, you're focused on rotating, just remind yourself the joy of the Lord is your strength. Again, going side to side, we're working the obliques, working that waist. 
Again, the abdominals connect the upper and the lower body together. So it's real important to keep those abdominal muscles strong and pulled in to protect the back and the spine. Let's do a few more of these. And one more. Nice work. Go ahead, pick up your other weight. This time we're going to do a reverse lunge. So we're gonna take one leg, step it back, and press the opposite arm up. Let's do that again. Step back, and then shoulder press up. Now let's do it all at the same time. Step back and press, and then together. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Are we doing that? And I'm thinking to myself, a lot of times I don't do that. A lot of times I just let the situation overwhelm me and I get bent out of shape and I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And then I remind myself, don't worry, pray. Speak to God, go to your Father and ask Him how to handle that situation or what to say. Let's do that one more time. Nice job, how are you doing? All right, next leg, step it back, then press up, and then back together. Let's do that again. Step back, press that weight up, and then back. Let's do it at the same time. Press and move. Again, do you notice that balance challenge? And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let peace be the umpire of your heart. And breathe, stay in alignment with God. A lot of times I say, Lord, please line up my heart with your heart, my mindset with your mindset. Father, please renew my thinking, because sometimes my thinking isn't that great. It's not honoring you, so please renew my thinking, Father. Last one. Go ahead, put one weight down. This is called the chop. You're gonna hold the weight. Bring your feet out about shoulder distance apart. Go down into a squat, and then do a nice little rotation across the body. Let's do that again. Down and rotate. Modification right here. Nice. Progression, swing all the way up and lower down. For I know the plans that I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and future. I know you've heard that before. God has great plans for you. He always has, he wrote your life, he wrote your story. Just go to him, keep that core strong, keep your alignment good and breathe deep with your eyes focused on him and allow his plans to play out before your very eyes. One more. Nice. Okay, reset your feet a little bit. Go to the opposite side with the belly scooped, lower down and rotate around. Inhale and exhale, working the waist, the obliques, that lower body, the upper body, We're working on breathing in alignment and our eyes are focused on Christ, right? His strength is with us all the way through this. Feel this in your legs, and through your core, and your hips, and your arms, and just breathe it all in. You're strengthening your body. You're honoring God by taking care of your body. You're doing a very good thing right now. Keep it going. My heart rate's increasing, what about yours? Let's do that two more times. Lower down, rotate one more time. Good job, you did excellent. Let's go back to that split lunge and dumbbell crossover. Step out, modification right here, single arm row back. Let's do that again. Inhale, lower, and exhale, bring it back. We're really working these legs, but we're also working the arm as well. Be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. Be strong, God has given me grace many, many times, and he's forgiven me 
many, many times, and he'll do the same for you. Let's go ahead and progress this exercise. Lower down, hold right there. And that's a little bit more challenging, but don't worry about it. If you don't wanna go all the way down, you can always modify. Do what's best for your body today. You should know, just notice how it's feeling. Keep that alignment good and breathe deeply. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lower and exhale back. Good job. Let's start on the opposite side. And again, modification right here and then single arm row back. Inhale, lower and exhale back. Let's do that one more time, modified and then back. Progression, lower all the way down, cross over, hold right there and then come on up. Overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loves us. Remember that. Walk in victory, live in victory, even if you don't feel like it, and you may, may not feel like it, but you can live in victory every day as you focus on God. Place your eyes on Him. Go to Him with everything. Feel that balance right there. Hold, then exhale back. Again, we're strengthening our legs and our upper body and our core all at the same time. That's what I love about total body exercises. You're working everything at the same time. Last one and hold, nice job. All right, now we're going to reverse lunge, step back, bring one arm up and then step back together. Let's do that again. Step back, bring the arm up and then step together. Let's do it all at the same time. Lunge, reverse and press. Don't worry about anything, right? Instead, pray about everything. I remember there was a time in my life, I was a single mother and I did not have a lot of money. I would go to the grocery store and on the way there actually, I would say, Lord, I only have this amount. Please help me. Please help me to be able to buy these groceries for these four kiddos. And um, he always worked it out always it seemed like things were on sale that i was going to purchase or someone would stop by and drop off an envelope with money in it that's god he's amazing one more time nice work now repeat that on the opposite leg step back reverse and press and then back together let's do that again reverse lunge press up now let's do it all at the same time and the peace of god which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds, that's your thoughts, in Christ Jesus. Breathe, extend, alignment and posture. Every day I call to the Lord and I say, Lord, line me up, line me up with you, Father. Line up my mindset, my ways, my actions, the plans that I have, Father, if they are not your plans, I don't want anything to do with them. I just want your plans to be with me, Lord. Just show me. One more time, exhale together. Great work. Go ahead and put one weight down. Hold one. We're going back to that chop. Feet about shoulder distance apart, lower down in a squat, and then rotate around. Inhale lower right there. Exhale always in the hardest part of the exercise. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. I prayed this over all of my children. We have seven kids, 14 grandchildren, and I pray that and I declare that over every single one of them and over myself and my friends and people I don't even know that I run into or I may see out and about. Exhale, breathe. Focus on your breath. One more. Nice work. Okay, opposite side. Take the dumbbell, lower down and then rotate around. Inhaling and exhaling. God has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. His plans are always the best plans. I mean, we can't make it up. He has his plans already written for us. Keep it moving. 
If you go to Psalms 139, you'll find it right there. God has every day of yours written out. So just go to him for the blueprint because he's got it. And again, we're breathing, we're working on the waist and the abdominals, working on alignment, leg strength. And do you hear me? I'm getting out of breath a little bit. A few more. And one more. Nice. Now pick up your other weight. We're going to alternate our legs and then do some bicep curls. Just modify right here. You can modify right there. Or you can go deeper. Inhaling and exhaling. You know, there's a scripture verse out of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, that says, Call to me, and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. You know what? Every single day, it seems, I call on God, and I'm like, Lord, please show me those things that I don't know, those things that I need to know, that you want to show me. Breathe through this. We're almost there. You're doing so good. Bicep curls, reverse lunges, alignment, posture, God's strength, His plan, His will, His direction. One more. Awesome job. Go ahead and place one weight in your hand and step over. We're going to do a two-step squat. So step out, squat, swing the weight front, step again, and squat and swing. So what we're doing is we're just moving side to side and we're swinging this weight, inhaling and exhaling. Great scripture verse says, stand here and see this great thing the Lord's about to do. The Lord is about to do greatness in your life. He already has been working in your life. He's working out all things so that he gets the glory and that it works out for you. So keep trusting him and watch what he's going to do. Pray, I would say pray and watch. Breathe through it. Doing great. This should bring the heart rate up just a little bit because of the way we're moving just back and forth, swinging the weights, alignment and posture. Let's do it one more time. Nice work. Okay, this next exercise, it's a reverse lunge and hold the weight just out in front of you. So alternate your legs, reverse lunge, and again. Okay, here's that verse again that I absolutely love. Call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you unsearchable things that you do not know. That's out of Jeremiah 33. Three, call to God, and He's going to show you those unsearchable things that you don't know yet, those things that are hidden. Maybe you have something um, going on right now, but God has something else planned for you down the road. Just keep your eyes focused on Him, and breathe, and pray, and stand, and watch, and see. Again, we're working the legs. You should be feeling this in your thighs and your hamstring muscles and the back of the legs. And last one. Now you're just gonna stand with your feet about shoulder distance apart and you're just simply gonna rotate from side to side. Just inhaling. Oh, this feels so good. This is one of my favorite standing stretches and strength training exercises for the core. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I love that verse. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Say that with me. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep moving. Stay focused. Good. You're working, again, the obliques, the abdominals. Make sure those shoulders stay down and you're doing a nice inhale and a big exhale. You're breathing through this. Inhaling and exhaling, just a few more, you're almost there. You can go faster, you can go slower, it's totally up to you. One more each direction, nice work. Go ahead and pick up your weight. We're going to include the triceps in this next set. So we're simply going to kick them back and then we're going to take one leg and bring it out. So kick it out or slide it out. Triceps, kick back, shoulders down, good posture and alignment, just check yourself. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in your weakness. Amen to that. <laughs> God's grace 
is all I need. And his power and strength work best in me when I'm so weak and undone. Breathe, feel that extension. Good. Remember shoulders down. I say that a lot because a lot of times the shoulders want to pop up and it'll stress out that neck area and your shoulders. One more. Good job. Okay, opposite side. Take that leg out. Just see how it feels. Bring it back in. Here's the modification right here. And the progression just simply lift as you kick back. Again, breathe. And if you want to give your arms a rest, you can just keep them at your side as you bring that leg out. Working on balance, stabilization, and our breath, and our alignment. Keep it going. Doing fantastic. Again, stand and see and watch this great thing that God is gonna do for you. Arms are moving, and you're breathing, exhaling, and inhaling. Doing great. Keep it moving. Keep it going. We're almost there. Again, God is going to do what only he can do in your life. So you're going to boast about your weakness because the power of Christ is working in and through you. Last one. Nice. Now step it out. Hold the weight. And just simply move side to side. I love this exercise right here. It's a great stretch. It's a great strengthening exercise for the core. It feels so good at the end of a workout. God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished. Isn't that good news? God's going to do the work in you. You just keep going. You just keep moving. Keep listening to him and breathing. Scoop your belly <laughs> along the way. Your posture is important, how you present yourself to others. You're doing fantastic. I'm so glad you worked out with me today. Let's do a few more of these. Shoulders stay down. Let's do one more each side. Awesome job. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, he will bless our bodies and hearts for his purposes. It is God who made us and breathes his spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for him. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.